In a Nigerian household, um, definitely a lot of culture, a lot of tradition. What I seem to be like a characteristic of lots of Jamaican people is just always just being like true to yourself, like they're very authentic. I love the fact that there's such a deep inherent sense of like pride within Nigerians. I always say that being mixed race like I am, you kind of never belong and at the same time you belong all the time. Everybody's got a different history, a different culture and I'm kind of the mix of it all. So it's been personally very good, I've, I've learned a lot. We've been working hard to identify and address underrepresentation in our student body. And quite simply, if you look at the London population and you compare it to our student population, students of black heritage are underrepresented. The reality of diversity, at least in my view, is different people in the sense that not only do people look different, but they come with a different set of experiences, perhaps a different life, a different environment they grew up in, a different perception of things. And this goes through all types of intersection and all types of personal experiences, right? It is easier said that you're just here to get your degree when you haven't been in a room and you can't find anyone that looks like you. Psychologically, it always helps when you've seen someone do something before you to give you confidence in yourself and faith that you'll be able to do the same thing. Through shared experiences, there's kind of a unanimous understanding and camaraderie, as well as a sense of community. And I think especially with black students, that is especially needed. What makes this scholarship difference is we actually spoke to the people that would benefit from these kinds of scholarships. And that um, partnership with the students that told us what they needed has led to a sort of co-created suite of opportunities. I think that we're at a point in time where Imperial has realised that there is an issue and we are in the early steps of solving that issue and I'm very excited about the way that Imperial has reacted to our calls for uh, change and improvement. If you do not have diversity of thought, if you do not have diversity in your staff, you do not have diversity in your in your students, you will not get that type of diversity that comes from understanding different experiences. If you come to Imperial, you've been told, we want you to build this university. Just because you don't understand something, it doesn't mean that you're stupid or that you don't belong here. It just means that you're learning. And I think that's beautiful. But I think if you come here thinking, I need to know everything because everybody knows everything, you're setting yourself up to fail because you're not giving yourself any room for growth. Imperial has a lot of activities to offer. I'm in the Krav Maga Society. So this is the uh, Israeli martial art where we learn how to uh, protect yourself and it's really a self-defense self martial art. I'm very involved in the African Caribbean Society in which in my second year I was secretary and in my third year now I'm president. So I run the BME network and that brings me so much joy. Our slogan this year is for culture and vibes to educate and celebrate and I think Imperial is such a wonderful place because we have so many different cultures here. In ACS, aside from outreach, we host um, our annual cultural event called Afro Gala which is music, dancing and acting. It's a night in February where people can invite their friends and families to come watch the show. We also have a media campaign called the Black People of Imperial Campaign where we speak to current students and just get a gauge of their experience at Imperial and then we get black photographers and artists to do portraits of them. I've learned so much about myself being at Imperial. I found first time really character building. That is something about university. You are exposed to a new side of yourself you've never seen before because it is a challenge like no other. I guess I was someone that took calculated risks and coming to uni, you just you just have to deep dive. You just embrace every single opportunity. Underrepresentation at the university indicates that there are barriers for certain students to, to enter the university. And we want to understand those barriers and address them. Following summer 2020, I took it upon myself to really start having a conversation about blackness in academia. One of the main goals that I had sort of set myself and we had discussed with other people within the university and department was to create scholarships for students. This scholarship in particular is one of our achievements, um, but there's so much more to do and we are really, very much looking forward to welcoming more black students here.